Hello everybody, welcome back to another video, and in today's video we are taking the mail carrier back to my place, my house, because uh, my grandpa needed it the other day. So, I've been letting this giddy warm up, probably a little longer than I should have, but eh. And uh, yeah, this is my uncle's truck. I'm not definitely not going to be able to lift it, but no hurt. Trying. So yeah. Ooh. Well, now that I knew that was in there, uh, yeah, that looks fun. Actually, I should probably, yeah, I should probably throw that back in. Not thinking here. What I need to do is straighten this out, and I need to move the truck. So, yeah. This thing's loud. Turn that off because I don't want to waste my uncle's fuel. Yeah, I can see myself getting one of these now. I just got off the bus, so there was no point in me going home just to bring something down to have to find a ride down here again. So, yeah. I've readjusted the chain on the skid loader because uh, I still have an issues after with it after I fixed it the first time so Ooh. right now I need to move the truck do not do what I'm about to do ever very very dangerous back down over here. Ooh, I love the sound of this truck. Guessing the pipe isn't all the way on anymore. Oh well. Oh yeah. Fudge. I forgot to drop out the jack stand. Here we are. Bleh. There we go. Oh. Ow. That hurt. <clears throat> now you may be wondering why this has a homemade hitch on it. It's because my dad didn't like the original hitch and our neighbor ended up borrowing it, borrowing this bail carrier. Uh, he kind of broke kind of broke it because that's not the steer axle that is actually a old bus steering axle so yay oh my god just bought the there we go Now we're gonna 
clock it in. Is it locked? We'll, we'll find out here in a sec. I don't think it's the right ball now. We'll find out. Yeah, it's the right ball. All right, scoot the computer. I'm 
like that is I gotta raise up. That is perfect. I gotta use that. And I did more digging. Well, I didn't do anything actually. My dad found a hitch, a triple ball hitch, on the side of the road with the spacer in. And uh, our trucks are too small to use the spacer. And my dad didn't need the hitch. So I gave the hitch to my uncle, who has used it. Uh, I kept the uh, uh, spacer because I'm like, I can use this. I can use this for my own build. I can make a hitch with this. Fudge. Uh, let's put that in here, actually. Let's try actually give that a bit of a tension rest. I could use this for my own build. So that's exactly what I did. I took the spacer and the chunk of tube to school. I already had it pre-cut and everything. And I cut it too small. And the hole was too big because I used a torch. So we used a plasma cutter, cut in fresh holes, used some filler metal, both sides, filled it in, I welded it, so if the welds break, that's me. Um, and, uh, ooh, greasy. I gotta clean that up now. But, uh, yeah. I did that during one of my shop classes. And, uh, the welds to the forks. That was done by me with a stick. Now, I'm not good at stick, but once I warm up, I'm, I feel like I'm pretty good. You guys, I don't know why, but it feels like you guys have fallen. And, uh, yeah. Uh, let's go check those ladies or something. All right. One of them is out. It's ears. All right, we'll go get that taken care of. But, uh, oh, what was it? We, uh, I did that, and we've used the hitch four times now since I put it on in November. So, pretty good, I think. So, yeah. Takes a 15 sixteenths wrench, two wrenches to put the bolt in. Fold it, so yeah. All right. Actually, let's put that on. <sighs> Fudge. Well, I'm gonna try something. Come on, seventy-three. Come on, Chiba. Come on, boy. There we go. How many? One, two, three, four, five, six. So yeah, we got five red heifers and one steer. That's what I thought. Anyways, that's what we got for creatures. <laughs> I really like that spot. Don't know why. Oh uh, yeah, this one magically escapes all the time. Sorry, I'm gonna have to bleep that out. Come on, go be with your friends. Come on, come on. Don't know how she does it. There is electrical current, so. Why are you licking? 
Why? Oh, I know why, because there was a salt block there. I'm guessing some of the salt's in the dirt. See? All right, this is what I meant by it takes two wrenches. This is how I have it mounted in. This is fine. We can leave it like this. I don't care. Take it, grandpa greased the ball to the truck. But these are the welds. Very crappy, not even done. I used a piece of re-rod as filler too. I gotta fill this in yet. I gotta get the back all welded up yet. Ran out of stick is what happened. Ooh. So yeah. I actually like the GoPro on the head. Can't tell if it dies or not. I gotta turn the sound up on that. So yeah. Hopefully it's still recording, otherwise I've been on for a rant sitting for 25 minutes to half an hour. So yeah. Stop doing that! God. That was the parking brake. Seatbelt came undone. I hate it when that happens. But it happens. Not much you can do. Got rid of the bulk tank in case you're wondering what well, used to be there. Dude, I don't work out what you're doing with some of that stuff. Oh, change your pace today, yes. Lunch, lunch today. So that's delicious. Gotta plug this girl in. Not the skid the full wad, the ord, as I like to call one of the neighbors to my boss's truck. What the? All right, I know it's here somewhere. This thing does have a block heater. Is this it? Got it. Right there. Oh, I want to make something with this door and that skid loader. But this is missing the hinges. So I got to either buy new hinges for the door, which could be expensive, or I make my own hinges, which can also be expensive. So yeah. Ooh, cold, cold. Ooh, are you still recording? Come on, can't touch the screen. Anyways, thanks for watching. Catch you all in the next one. Ooh, that looks blurry. Eh, we'll fix it later. Thanks for watching.